Okay, so hold your brushes still. Hold your brushes still. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be we're going to be painting um, some apples. So I've got um, a variety of different apples. So I'll kind of like hold these up. You can look here. To begin with, when you think about an apple, right? Quite often you think what? When you think of an apple, what kind of a color do you think it is? Betty? Red. Red. We often think that the apple might be red. Here we have um, a green apple. How many of you, when you when I said think of an apple, you thought of green? Not too many people do. A couple of you, right? How about this little, how about this? This is a Macintosh. Look at how dark red this is. Wow, did you think of who, how many of you thought of this one as being like an apple that came to mind? This is all, yeah, so this is all gonna be what we're gonna do today. You're gonna get to choose an apple. Um, John, do you have a question? It's your favorite apple? Yeah, so that'd be fun to have a taste test, right? Um, but you're gonna be mixing paint to paint a uh, picture of the apple that you choose, okay? So, I'm gonna give you a couple of um, little go-tos before I do the demonstration. I have people zooming from home, but I'm also gonna be projecting this on the screen and on this screen so you guys can see it large. Okay, does that make sense? So hopefully the colors will look okay. But what I wanna point out before we begin, this is really gonna be so different from painting on your color wheels. Here's why. Listen carefully. So hold steady, Logan, hold steady. Um, you're not gonna need to, to mix all these colors ahead of time and have them on your plate. You can mix right on the paper that I'm gonna be showing you. It's gonna be really fascinating, okay? The other thing is, when you're mixing something like a dark um, red apple like this, what, how are you gonna make this color? You gotta be thinking, John, you could add a little bit of black, but there's even a better way. Blue, you try adding a little bit of blue to it. If you need to make it darker, just speck of black. It's amazing, yeah. Well, no, we'll do that another time, okay? So um, if you have green, how are you gonna make this green? Who's got an idea for this, like lot, this granny, this granny Smith, yeah. Um, maybe uh, yellow green. Yeah, so it's a definitely a yellow green. So you can start with yellow, put a little bit of blue in it, right? How are you gonna make it lighter for the highlights? Betty? White. And a little white, right? Right with your brush. So I'm gonna paint, um, I think I'm gonna do this one today. So I'm gonna switch my camera around so you guys can all see me. Let's see if I can do this. See the, I wanna see the apple. Okay, pretty good. I gotta get this one. What? I know, Logan, I know we're gonna, we're gonna switch that, okay? I want to see myself huge. How do I do that? Okay, there. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the lights in um, the other room. I want to get a good view here. I look like this. Okay, remember it's reversed, so I'm going to turn off the lights. Tell me how it works, buddy. Good? I can only turn off one light here. You guys have to suffer a little bit. You get, if you can see here, move yourself around, move your chair, you can see my actual paper. Okay, so what I want to say, we're going to start with, so hopefully you guys can see, I'm going, to, I'm going to draw really dark, but please don't draw this dark um, on your paper, okay, because you don't really want to see the pencil line when you're finished. Can you guys see the line okay? There's going to be a, like the center here, it's going to be a little line like that, okay? Once you get the outline, start painting. So watch how I'm going to start. I'm going to use a a slightly bigger brush. This is bigger than we used before. I've got my palette ready. Mine's a little messy, but I just have the, the basic primary colors plus black plus white. Okay, that's it. So watch how I'm gonna begin. You're gonna be amazed. I'm gonna use just, just red to start with. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint right on my, right on my paper. Couple things to remind you of. Pull the brush down the paper. And I'm going in the same direction as 
sort of the lines on the apple. Think about like a pumpkin. You know how the lines come straight down like this? You're gonna be using the same kind of lines. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna get a little tiny bit of blue on my brush, little tiny bit of blue, and I'm gonna mix it in. Now watch what happens. Right on my, look how I make a nice smooth edge all the way down and you can start filling this in. Now, put a little bit more red on your brush. Have I dipped into the water yet? No, no, because what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to just go forward and make this whole apple, whoops, I just made a big block, without having to keep rinsing out our brushes. Hold your thing steady at your tables. If you make a big messy edge like this, that's gonna happen, get some fresh paint and Flatten out your brush, just like this, and make a nice smooth edge. Your apples are kind of crisp, they're hard on the edge, so that should, it shouldn't be a fuzzy edge. You could add a little bit of yellow. I've got some yellow green actually over here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in, and then I'm gonna put some yellow with it. Notice how I have not washed my brush yet. Not washed my brush yet. I can take a, a second brush if I feel if I feel that's necessary and I could come in with a clean brush, I can rinse my brush out. I'm not saying you can't rinse your brush out, but I want, want you to notice a few things. I want you to notice the, the direction of my strokes going around. There is a yellow green back here. I'm gonna put a little yellow, who's back here. And then I'm gonna kind of blend this in. I'm gonna go back to my red brush now and keep pulling this together. Now, wherever you see, if you're doing that Macintosh, it's a really dark one, that you're gonna to have to be careful you don't make it too dark too fast. I've got some red here. It's kind of going like this, coming down, brush strokes. I want you to watch how I'm putting the brush strokes in. I'm moving way, way faster than you're gonna move. You're not gonna move this fast. But where, if you need to rinse out your brushes, you're more than welcome to, but I really don't think you're gonna need to. Look, I did a big blob. Okay, I see a yellow green. Some people wanna mix up a yellow. The other room should be quiet. And I'm gonna just kind of fan this in. This kind of blending that I'm doing, did you notice I'm mixing everything right on the paper? The beautiful part about that is if you work fast enough, it all blends together. 